Hi, my name is Cy Cates. I'd like to explain how phaseback VSGR will keep the phase voltages balanced even when a sustained over voltage occurs on one phase. This chart is typically used for lower voltages to show how computers require a stable voltage and how time affects the acceptable voltage window. The horizontal axis on this chart goes from 1 microsecond to 100 seconds. The vertical axis goes from 0 volts per percent volts to 500 percent volts. You can see that up to 100 microseconds the window is quite wide. When you get to 1 millisecond and 10 milliseconds, the window narrows substantially. The end of the arrow, which represents our test, is 390 milliseconds. Then you see 1 second and on to 100 seconds, the window narrows even more. On the vertical axis, 480 volts represents 100%, and at the top of the chart is 500%. 6,000 volts is 1,250%, so it's way off of this page. To be clear, all electrical loads would benefit from stable voltage, but it's been very expensive in the past to deal with this with motors and other general electrical loads. During the arc flash test, 6,000 volts was applied to one phase of a 40 volt system. The test lasted for 390 milliseconds. And because of phase back VSGR, the voltage only went to 483 volts. You can see the window of time that would be the effective range of MOV based devices, TVSS and SPDs. They are designed for 8 to 20 microseconds. If a high voltage condition lasted much longer than that, the MOVs would fail and sometimes they're going to fail catastrophically. Phaseback VSGR handled 6,000 volts for 390 milliseconds and stayed well within this acceptable voltage envelope. 